12.53, Dad says that. Then you say, I'm terrified. At 12.53, again, you say, oh, my God. Your dad says, stay down and calm. You're going to be fine. We love you. The next minute, 12.54, Dad says, you there? Anything happening? Has it stopped? He can... Who is on this text thread? Your mom, your dad, and who else? My two sisters. How old were your two sisters in November, on November 30th, 2021? Um, one was in 8th grade and one was in 7th. Okay. So it's you, your 7th grade sister, your 8th grade sister, and your mom and your dad. Yeah. Okay. I think my little brother on his iPad is in there too, but... Okay. Yeah. We, we, we hopefully safely can say he, he was not reading these text messages. Okay. Um, at 12.54, you say, someone in here. What were you talking talk, talk to me about that. Uh, we heard someone walk in. Okay. Did you, how, what, did, what exactly did you hear? Um, the door open and footsteps. Did it sound like one person or more than one person? One. Okay. Did you look out to see who it was? No. At 12.55, you say, he's in the bathroom. You're talking about that person, correct? Yes. Okay. Your dad says, stay down and don't move or engage. We love you. And then at 12.56, you say, he saw us. When... What happened that made you text that? Uh, he kicked the door and it swung open. Okay. So at that moment, is that the first time you actually saw that individual? Yes. And when you say he kicked the door in, how hard did he kick it? Um, decent, not super hard, but... Okay. And did he, what did he do when he kicked the door in? Just stared at us. Did he say anything? I don't remember exactly. Did you say anything? I, I don't remember exactly. Okay. Do you remember if Justin said anything? I'm pretty sure we all stayed quiet. Okay. And did he stay there with you or did he eventually leave the stall? Um, he just stared for a second and then walked out. So that individual that did that, had you ever seen him before? No. You, you didn't know who he was? No. Okay. You text your family, I'm with one other person. Did you mean Justin? Yes. He saw us, and we are just standing here. Are you texting that when he's still in the stall? Or no. Or after he leaves? He walked out. Okay. And then Dad responds, just stay calm. Is he gone? Right? Mm-hmm. So was that a yes? Yeah, that's yes. Thank you. And you respond, no. He's standing here. I see the gun. Oh my God. When did you see the gun? I first saw it when he kicked the door open. And where was he holding it? On his side. Okay. So he was holding it like this with his arm down? Yes. Okay. But you did see it? Yes. Did he point it at you? No. Okay. Dad says again, okay, stay calm. What bathroom? Where are you exactly? I'll call. That's at 12.59. Now, Keegan, the next time you text your family is 101. So by that time, by 12.59, we know you would have, you will have been in the bathroom for about seven minutes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I know this is hard, but can you tell the court what happened from 12.59 to 1.01? Um, he came back in. The shooter? Yes. Okay. Told me to stay put and for Justin to come out of the stall with him. Okay. I want to back up a bit. Was there a point where Justin was giving you any other directions? Yes. What was he saying to you? Um. Before, this was before the 
shooter kicked open the stall when we heard the shot close he told me that when we hear them further away we're gonna run and he kind of mouthed it and signaled okay so that was his basically telling telling you how to escape yes okay and did you say anything back to Justin I said okay I kind of nodded my head okay and so after you heard the shooter come in um, at some point were you trying was Justin trying to understand if he was still there yes when did that occur he um, after he kicked open the door and he walked back out and he was just in the bathroom and at this point you can't see him but you know he's still there yes okay and what did Justin do he took out his phone camera and he held his phone down um, so that at an angle so that I could see if his feet were still there okay so there's the bathroom you're crouching on the toilet mm -hmm. he's Sorry, standing yes. behind that partition where did he put his phone I think it was kind of to the left of right. the pool yes right down there okay and he put his camera on so that you could see the image that it, it was pointing at yes and he said to you what um he kind of mouthed is he still there and what did you say I couldn't tell okay so what did he do he kind of bent his head over to see his feet and then he mouthed to me that he's still there okay and then what happened we just stayed quiet how long was it I don't know exactly but it felt like forever okay. and at some point the shooter came back into the stall correct yes Keegan both times when you saw him did he have a gun yes was he nervous did he seem nervous no did he seem panicked no did he seem emotional no was he crying no were you or Justin aggressive in any way no were you trying to defend yourself no did you ever put your hands on him no did you ever lunge toward him no how would you describe his demeanor what he seemed like um kind of blank kind of cold okay he comes back in the stall and what does he do again uh, he told me to stay put and for Justin to come out with him and what did Justin do he went out with him okay did the stall did this the door close at that point no so this, the stalls open the yes. door and you're still on the toilet crouching yes okay and what what happens next Keegan um it was quiet for a second and then I heard a shot and what did that sound like it's extremely loud at this point it was two or three feet away from you yes okay Keegan what did you think when that happened um I kind of didn't know what to think I didn't my mind wasn't really believing that it happened okay what did what what how how long before you saw the shooter again um just I don't know exactly but it wasn't long after that shot he came back in after he told Keegan told Justin to leave did you hear Justin say anything I don't remember okay but Justin did as he asked yes he didn't try to struggle or fight no okay at some point he comes back into the stall yes and what what does he do he tells me to come out with him and how does he does he say it to you or does he motion you I think he motioned I don't I don't remember exactly and Keegan at some point you looked at the shooter and said please yes I think so okay do you remember when that was uh, I think it was when me and Justin were just waiting in there he came in and you said please yes what did you mean I don't know I was scared okay what did he do when he was in the stall he motioned you out and where was the gun on his side okay he's holding it down on his side yes all right and Keegan what did you do after that I went out with him okay and what did he what did he tell you to do anything uh yeah I don't remember exactly um but 
to go over. You kind of signaled me to go over by Justin's body. So let's talk about that. What did you see when you came out of the stall? Justin's body in a pool of blood. Was he laying face up or face down? I don't remember exactly. Okay. Do you remember where that blood was in relation to his body? Uh, around his head. Okay. And the shooter tells you to do what? Uh, kind of signals me to go over by him, by his body. And what did you do? Um, when he sig when he moved the gun away from me, his side kind of, I ran behind his back and out the door. Okay. Why did you do that? Um, because I think when I saw his body, I realized that if I stayed, I was going to die. This is all happening between 12.59 and 1.01 when you finally texted your parents, correct? Yes. Okay. What did you do after you ran? What, what did you see when you got outside? Um, I recall seeing another body with someone bent over it. And where was that on the map, if we can pull that up? I think it was um, it was around a corner just outside of the courtyard, kind of over there. Okay. Keegan, at some point, did you did you learn who that was? Yes. And who was it? Tate. Okay. And what did you what did you do at this point? I just kept running as fast as I could. And what what were you trying to do? Um, make as many turns as I could so that. If he was chasing me, I'd lose him. Okay. And you eventually ended up in the office? Yes. And did you see anybody? Yes. Who'd you see? I ran and there was a officer with a gun who kind of guided me to go outside. And did you do that? Yes. And how long were you outside, if you know? Um, maybe a minute. It wasn't very long. Okay. I want to go back to the text thread. So at 12, at 101, you texted, I just watched him kill someone. He put me up against the wall, and I ran. I made it to the office. And that's at 103, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Above that, is that mom? Yes. Oh, my God, Keegan, stay calm. Love you. Okay. When did you, where were you at 103? Um, that was when I made it back to the office. Okay, because somebody came out and got you, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, Keegan, I'd like to play the video surveillance of you leaving the bathroom and, and what happened after. Is, is that okay? Yes. Okay. You, Keegan? Yes. Up at the that's... top right. Thank you. He's turning. You're you turning into the bathroom right now. Yes. Okay. So he has a backpack on, and you had like red pajama bottoms. Yes. Why did you have pajama bottoms? I don't know. Okay. It's comfortable. Uh, so you went into the bathroom. That's you going in, correct? Yes. Okay. And then we cut images out and put together just just images of you. Who's that again? The shooter. Okay. Is, and he's going into the bathroom where you and Justin were? Yes. Okay. Now this has collapsed the time because we know it was about eight minutes you were in that bathroom. Yes. Do you know who that student was? No. Okay. <laughs> now this is Kim Potts who, you, did you know her at the time? No. Okay, she works for the school. She opened the bathroom door. I want to stop here for a second. The bathroom door, if you open it, 
you would see a wall, correct? Yes. Okay, and then you have to turn another corner to see the photo that we showed you. Yes. Okay. Does that make sense, Your Honor? Yes. Okay. Is that you, Keegan? Yes. Okay. And you're you're running as fast as you possibly can? Yes. And you didn't go the most direct way. Why is that? To lose him, hopefully. Did you know if he was behind you or not? No. Did you look look to see? No. Okay. Is that you outside? Yes. Okay. Do you remember what you saw when you went outside? What were you? I, I don't know. And that's Mr. Ejack? Yes. And he comes and gets to you, right? Yes. Okay. And then you go to the office? Yes. And that's when you text your family? Yes. How long were you in the office that day? Hours. And how did you get home? The police drove me. So much later they drove you home? Yeah. Okay. Keegan, on that day, you said you didn't know Justin's name? No. Okay. And eventually did you learn it? Yes. And how did you learn it? My friend sent me a photo and asked if that was him. And you eventually learned that, that he was he was killed. Yes. And do you remember when you learned that? A while later. I think my mom told me. Okay. I've asked you before how you felt during that experience. And you, you said a lot of different things, but how could you sum up how you were feeling then? When exactly? In the bathroom and trying to escape. Oh. Um, terrified, kind of blank. I remember I wasn't really able to breathe. I was kind of like hyperventilating, like scared. I'm not going to ask you how you feel now or how long it took before you realized what had happened to you. Okay. Safe to say you were in shock for some time, correct? Yeah, a long time. Okay. And do you remember the first time you sort of broke down? Um, I think it was weeks after. I saw a post about Justin, and it kind of clicked. And that day, when did you finally see your parents? Uh, when I, the, after the cops drove me home, my parents were there waiting for me. All right. The last thing I'm going to ask you, Keegan, is you have a tattoo on your arm. Yes. Can you tell the court what it is? It's um. The date in Roman numerals with four hearts for the lives lost, and then a red one with a halo for Justin. And why is why is the one for Justin red with a halo? Um, because I kind of thought of it as if he didn't die in there, then I'd be dead right now. 